Welcome to Godrej Vending India. Today I shall demonstrate the installation of mini fresh series Godrej Vending machine. This packing envelope contains the drink inserts and service manual. We shall now begin removing the drip tray. Remove the masking tape. Here you can see the drip tray cover. These are accessories present inside the drip tray. This is a silicon tube which is used for the water supply. This is a PVC 1 meter tube for draining the waste water. Here you can see the spout for soup, the keys of the machine, two cable ties and a plug for drip tray. We'll take the key for unlocking the machine. Let's open the door now. On the rear side of the door, you'll find the power cord and the stainless steel pipe. These are four canisters provided for premix, and these are the three mixing bowls. The first bowl is common for the two canisters. As you can see, the top cover is openable for convenience of removing the canister. This is the canister support provided for arresting these canisters in its position during transit. This is to be removed. As you can see, there are many masking tapes applied which are to hold the canisters in its position. So you need to remove all these masking tapes. This is the front door of the machine which has front keypad having 10 keys. 8 keys can be used for programming flavors. This is function key, rinse key and hot water key. At the inner side of the door, these are two keys, A and B key used for programming of the machine. The programmable keys on the keypad used for flavor programming are key number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. This is the drink insert sheet that needs to be inserted inside the keypad to identify the flavor name. Now I shall demonstrate how to place the inserts inside the keypad. We shall put espresso insert as the first flavor inside the keypad. There are five slots provided on both sides for placing drink inserts which will give the name of the flavor. This way we can easily slide the drink insert inside the keypad. There are two drink inserts for each flavor provided on the sheet. These can be inserted from both sides as per the alignment required. Connect the silicon tube to the inlet of the pump present at the rear side. Apply cable tie to ensure a firm fitment on the tube. Connect the other end of the silicon tube to the SS pipe. Make sure the SS pipe is inserted up to 10 mm inside the silicon tube. The SS pipe has to be placed inside the bottled water jar. The water supply connection is now complete. We shall now begin with the electrical connection. Connect the power plug into the socket at the rear side. Ensure the power switch is in off position. Connect the power plug to 15 ampere power socket and switch on the machine. The drain tray is provided to collect the waste water. Please ensure the red color plug is fixed properly on the center. Alternatively, you can use PVC drain tube to drain waste water collected in the drain tray by removing the red drain tray plug. Insert PVC drain tube through this hole. Now we shall see premix filling in the canisters. Remove canister lid. You can see metal or plastic auger. Metal augers are used for fine powder premixes like coffee and plastic auger for other premixes. Now you can see all canisters are filled. Machine is fully programmable and hence you can set the required recipe. Upon switching on the machine, the machine software version shall be displayed on the machine display and the display shows water level low. Here you can see both the water levels are zero and temperature is 30 degrees. The water starts filling in the machine. When the first water level is achieved, the level displayed is 01. Once both the levels are achieved, the level displayed is 11. The message will appear as getting ready 
which means the water is filled and heating has started. The temperature of water now starts increasing. Once temperature is achieved, the machine displays welcome. Now we shall enter the programming mode by pressing the key A for 5 seconds. The machine will ask for password. We can enter the password by pressing key 1 4 times. We have now entered the program mode. The machine will display 11 menu levels. Level 1 – Beverage Program for setting the drink parameters. Level 2 – Set Temperature for setting the boiler water temperature. Level 3 – Lock Counter for locking the machine to a set number of dispensers. Level 4 – Load Default to load the default factory settings. Level 5 – Check I.O. Drives for checking all drives. Level 6 – Check Sensors for checking the different sensors present in the machine. Level 7 – Set Rinse Time to set the idle time of the machine. Level 8 – Change Password to change the default password. Level 9 – Select Sensors to define the sensors needed. Level 10 – Set Pay System to decide the mode of payment for beverages. We shall now enter the beverage program by pressing the function key. For programming the flavor 1 key, we have to program different channels. The first parameter to be set is channel 1 delay. This delay is the period after which the dispensing shall start. To set this delay, press the function key once and the cursor shall appear. Its value can be increased or decreased using key 1 and 2. To change the cursor position, use key 3. Finally, save the value 22.5 seconds by pressing the function key. We shall now move to the next parameter which is channel 1 water. Here the default value set is 8.3 seconds. The values for channel 1 water and other parameters can be set in the same way as for channel 1 delay. The third parameter is channel 1 pause, which adds delay in steps of half second in total dispensing time. The fourth parameter is channel 1 premix 1, used for setting premix time for channel 1, that is first canister. The fifth parameter is channel 1 p delay 1, which is used to introduce a delay in the premix starting time. Similarly, the settings can be changed for other canisters. The next parameter is channel 1 whipper, which can be enabled or disabled as per the corresponding flavor using the function key. Similarly, the settings can be changed for other channels. Further, we have multi-cup option to dispense multiple number of cups, which is restricted to a maximum of 4 cups. Next is drip time, which is the idle time at the end of dispensing. The test flavor option is used to test the changes made without saving. In order to save the changes made to default program, we can use save changes option using the function key. The message will be displayed changes saved. In the same way we can set the other flavors. Next is hot water for which the dispense time can be set in seconds. The next level is set pay system in which there are three payment options which is token mode, free vend and MDB mode. The machine is now programmed for free vend. Next is change password to set the user desired password. Any of the flavors can be used to select new password. In this case we have set the new password by using flavor key 2. The next option is select sensors. Here we have provision to set either or all three sensors which are cup sensors, drip tray sensor and the drip tray level sensor. The next option is set rinse time which is used to set the idle time in minutes to prompt for rinse. The check I.O. drive option is used to check the respective drives by switching it on or off. 
The next option is Load Default, used for loading the default beverage parameters of the machine. The Lock Counter option is used to set the counter of a flavor and then decrement with each dispense of that particular flavor. Once the count is zero, that particular flavor will be locked. Set temperature can be used to set the water temperature of the boiler in the range of 80 to 97 degrees. Machine operation and recipe mode is done here while the coffee is getting dispensed. You can see the dispensing of the coffee and the creamer. Here you can see the premix falling from different canisters in recipe mode which are creamer and the coffee. When the dispensing is done, the display shows enjoy drink. We can check another recipe of the machine by dispensing hot chocolate. We can check the temporary count of the machine by pressing the function key once and the flavor key for which the temporary count is to be checked. Here for flavor 1, it is 1. Flavor 2, it is 0. And for flavor 3, it is 3. Same way, the permanent count can be checked by pressing function key twice and then the respective flavor. Pressing function key thrice gives us the water level and the boiler water temperature status. Pressing the A key once will make the machine go into standby mode. In this mode, all keys except A key are locked. Pressing the same key again will bring the machine back to normal dispense mode. We shall now see how to reset the temporary count of any flavor. For instance, the temporary count for flavor 1 is 1. In order to reset it, press the B key once and then press the function key. This will reset the temporary count for all flavors. As we can see, the temporary count for flavor 1 is now 0. For doing the cleaning of mixing bowls, first rotate the spout in upright position to avoid the powder spillage. Then remove the canisters. Then remove the funnel cover. Check for powder deposition at the inside. To unlock the mixing bowl, push the orange funnel lock upwards and then pull out the funnel assembly. Remove the silicon tube connected to the dispense outlet. For cleaning the whipper chamber, Remove it by rotating it in an anti-clockwise direction and gently pull it to avoid damage to whipper motor shaft with blender and seal. After removing all funnel covers, remove the fume suction tray. Clean the inner part of the tray and then put it back matching the hole positions of the suction hose. Once the cleaning is done, fit the whipper chamber and then the blender back. You will need to match the decut of the whipper motor shaft and the blender. Now again connect the silicon tube onto the dispense outlet. Place the funnel back to the whipper chamber and align its position with the water inlet pipe. Lock the funnel by pushing the funnel lock downwards. Place the steam strap back on the funnel. Put back the canisters in their respective positions. Turn the spout to their original positions.